the mother and baby are encouraged to have skin-to-skin -skin contact and begin bonding. Immediately after delivery, the uterus begins a process called involution. Hormonal signals, particularly the release of oxytocin, help the uterus to contract, reducing its size. This process helps expel any remaining placental tissue and promotes healing of the uterine lining. Vaginal discharge, called lochia, consists of blood, mucus, and uterine tissue shed as the uterus heals. The discharge is bright red and heavy, similar to a heavy menstrual period. This discharge typically lasts for several weeks and gradually changes in color and consistency as the body heals. Transitions to a pinkish or yellowish color. The breasts also change to support breastfeeding. The breasts may become engorged as milk production increases, causing them to feel swollen, tender, and firm. As the mother expresses milk, the engorgement typically resolves and the breasts adjust to the baby's feeding needs. The act of breastfeeding promotes a special bond between mother and baby. This bonding experience can release hormones like oxytocin and endorphins, contributing to relaxation, happiness, and reduced stress. Oxytocin also promotes uterine contractions, helping the uterus to return to its pre-pregnancy size. After childbirth, the mother needs to rest to recover. Childbirth and the postpartum period can bring a range of emotions for both the mother and the father or partner. It's crucial to provide emotional support and understanding. Caring for a newborn is a shared responsibility that both parents should be involved in. Sharing responsibilities can alleviate the physical and emotional strain on the mother and foster a stronger bond between both parents and the baby.